Good morning, everyone. So I'm Sanjay Patil. I'm a product manager of SAP HANA Cloud Platform. So I have five minutes of your precious time. So let me use that by starting with describing how SAP customers are using Cloud Foundry. Let me begin with one of our large customers, Siemens. Siemens serves customers in discrete manufacturing and process industries like automotive, chemical, pharmaceutical. Siemens offers a solution for their customers in industry called MindSphere, which is built upon SAP HANA Cloud Platform. Using this solution, physical machines and production facilities can be connected to the digital world. You heard from one of the earlier keynote speakers that robots are going to displace our jobs, right? So this is our chance to take revenge and analyze the physical assets on the shop floor to optimize them as much as we want. But that apart, this also leads to really interesting new business models. Instead of buying and owning expensive machinery, plant owners can now lease machines as a service with pay-per-use model. Now, if you step back and think about it, there is something really interesting going on here. This Cloud Foundry as a technology, which is used in SAP HANA Cloud Platform, that is OEM'd by Siemens MindSphere, Siemens' cloud solution, which is then used by the manufacturers to offer machines as a service. And that is used by plant owners to produce goods in a highly cost-efficient manner, which obviously benefits all of us. So to enable such an incredible value chain, what we need underneath is an open, agile, and flexible platform. By using Cloud Foundry, SAP HANA Cloud Platform is able to provide a rich set of services, including big data technologies like Hadoop, to the Siemens project. Another great example is SAP Hybris as a Service, also called as YAS, which is an e-commerce on-demand platform. There are customer scenarios where they want to augment their existing e-commerce solutions by adding select new capabilities, like add a loyalty service to improve customer retention. By using Cloud Foundry-based microservices architecture, SAP YAS provides exactly that, a marketplace whereby anyone can develop, deploy, publish, and monetize business services like loyalty service. In this regard, we are working closely with the community projects like uh, Cloud Foundry Abacus, to build metering capabilities in the technology stack so that solutions like YAS can then offer uh, billing and other business law services. So with those two examples, let me try to summarize the key reasons for which Cloud Foundry is important for SAP. First, SAP has been driving digital transformation. You, pr you probably heard about this already. What that means is customers should be able to leverage existing assets and continuously deliver value at an enterprise scale, so that's the important piece. So with our experience with enterprise customers, we're bringing enterprise qualities to the Cloud Foundry stack, such as scaling, securing customer data. Secondly, for SAP, it is as much important to bring the benefits of cutting-edge technologies to our customers as it is to make it really simple to consume these new innovations. Cloud Foundry provides a great avenue to have an open dialogue with other open source <coughs> projects out there and systematically add new technologies like containerization to the stack. SAP has been working with engineers on projects like Diego to enable execution of Cloud Foundry apps on Linux. Last but not the least, Multi-cloud is a very important strategic element for SAP. And Cloud Foundry has a very clear set of concrete projects in this regard. It provides very clear interfaces to the different infrastructure as a service options. As you may know, SAP leads a project called OpenStack CPI, which is basically the layering of Cloud Foundry with OpenStack. And we're building a number of large and small features over there. For example, supporting multiple networks on a single virtual machine so that your network traffic for data backup will not interfere with, ne with your network traffic for production scenarios. If you are interested more in this topic, we have a technical session today at 10.55 AM, where we will be talking about a test suite that is built to validate your OpenStack installations to handle Cloud Foundry deployments. So in a nutshell, there's a lot happening at SAP in regards to Cloud Foundry. Uh, digital transformation is something SAP takes very seriously whether it is to enable complex value chains like Siemens, or whether it is to provide an innovation platform to standardize application deployment across the different silos. SAP takes that very seriously. And SAP HANA Cloud Platform is right at the middle of all those crossroads, which internally uses Cloud Foundry. So to learn more, please stop by at our booth. Uh, we are on the show floor, and thank you for your time.